I want everybody to understand we are not no Christian group. This is not a Baptist group, a Pentecostal group, no Muslim group. We are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. Black man, Hispanic man, you are an Israelite that this Bible speaks of. And, it's, and these brothers out here have been preaching it to you for the last few hours. Give me the book of Isaiah chapter 58 verse 1. So we're going to show you what we out here to do. Read. Isaiah chapter 58 verse 1. Cry aloud. Spare not. So the Bible commands us to cry aloud and spare not. We're not out here to spare anybody's feelings. We're out here to show you, thus saith the Lord, something that your pastor is not doing, your bishop is not doing, your apostle, your teachers are not doing. We lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Like a trumpet. A trumpet is a very loud instrument. Read on. And show my people their transgressions. So, black man, Hispanic man, you don't understand that you are the Lord's people. That's and we right. out here to show you your transgressions. That's where right. you going off at? And what you must do to correct your wrongs. Read. In the house of Jacob, their sins. So we out here to show the house of Jacob their sins. Give me Isaiah chapter 50, 51 verse 20. So let's, the definition of sin is breaking God's laws. That's one thing the church don't teach you. That's why our daughters is walking around with leggings on. Our sons is out here shooting each other. Y'all out here shooting up little girls. Where they do that at, man? Out here shooting up little girls. Read. Isaiah chapter 51, verse 20. This is for you brothers that like the game bang and shoot up the block and hang out all day. Read. Thy sons have fainted. The black man has fainted. He does not know who he is in these last days. That's why he acts the way he does. That's why he hates his brother. That's why he hates his sister. He treats his sister like a little hoe. Read. They lie at the head of all the streets. Wherever, wherever, wherever city in America. Read that again. Lost my thought. Read that again. They lie at the head of all the streets. On the top. Thy sons have fainted. They lie at the head of all the streets. So the black man likes to hang at the head of every single corner. What do they do at these corners? They like to sell drugs, sell water. They like to make a dollar. Read, pimp. As a wild bull in a net. So the most I compares y'all to wild bulls in a net. The net is the trap. America is a trap for the black man. That's right. There's no way out for you. That's why you hustle on the streets. Because you feel like there's no better way. But we are here to show you that there is a better way. That's right. Matter of fact, read this Bible. They are full of the fury of the Lord. So you must understand that you are full of the fury of the Most High God. The fury began with slavery. Slavery was the fury of the Most High God. The black man, the Hispanic man was put into slavery for breaking God's laws. The police shoot you down in your community because you break God's laws. That's right. Read. The rebuke of thy God. Are you full of the rebuke of God? That's what that shackles and chains was all about. Read. Therefore hear now this, thou afflicted. So God shows you that you are afflicted. That's why you out here getting killed in the streets like animals. And the police officers that kill you get off. Why is that? Read that again. Therefore hear now this, thou afflicted. Because you are afflicted. You are afflicted here in America because of your sins. Because of your sins, because you broke your, your God's commandments. That's why he put you in this predicament. That's why you get arrested one day, a week later, you in the house with a bed with your neck snapped in two. Bring it out. Because of your sins, black man. Read. Therefore, hear now this, thou afflicted. Drop that. Give me Psalms uh, 94, verse 16. Because we are here to raise up our brothers, man. Because y'all brothers been beat down for a long time. For a long time, the black man has been taught that he's nothing, that he's a nigger, that he had never amounted to nothing but a game banger, but a drug seller, a weed smoker, a pimp. But we out here to show you different. Read that for me. Psalms 94, verse 16. Read. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Which one of you brothers is going to rise up for the most high against the evildoers? Which one of you brothers is tired of the killers? Tired of protesting all day and not going nowhere with it? Bring it out. We want solutions, right? Kansas City, do we want solutions? 
But let's read out the Bible the solutions for our situation. We need to get from the top. Who will rise up for me against the evil doers? So that's the question God poses. Who will rise up for the Most High God against the evil doers? Which one of you brothers is going to speak up about the injustices done in your community? Which one of y'all going to do something? Which one of y'all going to perform these laws and change your life for the better? Because understand, a black man can't stand up if he got a blunt in his mouth. He can't stand up if he's effeminate and weak and running behind the woman trying to chase butt all day long. Bring it out! Bring it out! You know? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Which one of you brothers is going to stand up against the workers of iniquity? Which one of y'all is tired of these brothers shooting each other? Tired of them shooting innocent children? Where the real men at? Back in the 50s and the 60s and the 40s, you had the black man stand up for his community. That's right. The black man wasn't walking around with his pants sagging, not knowing what he's doing all day long. He had a purpose. But now the white man, what he do? He put drugs in the community. He locked the fathers up. He gave the mothers section eight. He divided up the houses. So now the young brothers is walking up and down the street with nothing to do. No guidance. Read. Unless the Lord had been my head, my soul had almost dwelt in silence. See that? Unless the Lord had been our help, our soul would have dwelt in silence. Because the white man, your enemy, is perpetrating to kill you. He, can, he don't care about you. You're not in the ghettos for, uh, for um, out of, what's the word I'm trying to use? You're not in the ghetto just in coincidence. You was put here. Why? We're going to read about it. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 16. We're going to read about why is the black man Hispanic man in these ghettos. Why are there any slums? Because little do you know, there's curses placed on you for your disobedience against God's laws. Because you want to do what you want to do, God said, all right, I'm going to do what I prophesied against you. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 16. Cursed shall thy be in the city, and cursed shall thy be in the field. That's why every city in America, Kansas City, Chicago, Illinois, Kansas City, Missouri, Kansas City, Kansas, St. Louis, wherever our people is at, they in the ghettos. That's they right. in the slums. They on Section 8. They on welfare. They on world. food stamps. They getting shot down in the streets That's because right. there's curses placed on you for your disobedience That's against God's right. laws. We need to get from the top. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. Every city, not only in America, but every city in the world. In London, who fills the ghettos? Blacks do. Read. And cursed shall thou be in the field. And cursed shalt thou be in the field. That's starting with slavery. Once you got off those slave ships, the white man put you in the cotton fields. He put you in the tobacco fields for you to work and pick his food. Pick his cotton. With free of charge. That's a curse. Jump to verse 48. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Go to verse 45. 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. See that? The Bible documents that our nation is destroyed. We have no real leaders. Where are your black ministers at? Where is Louis Farrakhan at? Where are these Muslims at that they claim that they love their people so much? How come they ain't, they not out here trying to teach you something? How come you don't see them in your streets? Because they really can care less. They all about a dollar. That's what they about. Bring it out! They all about money. But we ain't about no money. We don't have no collection plates. We had to teach our people that you are God's chosen people. That's right! Believe it! You are the greatest thing that stepped foot on this earth. You can read about your creation in Genesis chapter 1. He made man after his image. It's talking about the black man. But you haven't learned that. You learn about this image right here. This is why you hate each other. Because of this bastard right here. And I say a bastard because he has no father. That's you right, have that's the right. one true God. That's you right. have a father. Nobody can, can you show me this image in the Bible? If you show me this image in the Bible as Jesus Christ, I'll put down the mic right now, pack up, and go home to Chicago. But you can't. So I'm going to keep preaching. You know? Bring it out! Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Because you don't want to listen to the voice of the Lord your God. That's why Baltimore is in the uproar. That's why Ferguson was in the uproar when that young brother was killed. Read. 
to keep his commandments? Because we don't want to keep his commandments. Because your pastor taught you that the commandments was done away with. Read. In his statutes, which he commanded thee. Uh -huh, because he gave you these commandments to do. Read. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. And these curses shall be upon thee for a sign. The same way we know that we on 31st is the same way that we know that you the Israelites. Based on this sign given in the Holy Bible. If you fit Deuteronomy chapter 28, you fit the curses that was placed on the Israelites, you are an Israelite. How much you pass to the Hispanics? Read. And for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. And for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. Read. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. Because when we had our kingdom, we didn't want to serve God with joyfulness and gladness of heart. That's why we wrote the window up, because we don't want to hear what God say. We're a bunch of hypocrites. Yes, we just want to hear what God got to say tomorrow on Sunday, Sunday morning. But any other day, we don't want to hear what God got to say. The only time we want to pray is when people get shot. We want to hold prayer vigils. That's why, that's why we're in this condition today, because we're a bunch of hypocrites out here. Read. For the abundance of all things. Because the world was prophesied to, for you. God said, I will give you the word if you do my commandments. Read on. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies. So because you didn't want to serve God, you was made to serve your enemies. Starting in 1619, the transatlantic slave trade. Read on. Which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst. So the Lord sent the white man against us. We had to serve him in hunger. You want food? You gotta go to Sharks Fish and Chicken. You gotta go to you gotta go to the grocery store down the street because we don't own none of these distribution uh, centers that send the food in the ghettos. Your slave master, the white man, does, and that's the curse placed on you for disobedience. For that's God's right, that's right, that's right. And in nakedness, and in nakedness, if you want clothes, the clothes on your back you don't produce. You get that from the same man who enslaved you. That's right. That's a curse. Read. And in want of all things. God got you covered. Let's say you, you, know, you let's say you say, uh, well, every nation got to do that. Whatever you want, if you want to marry your woman, you got to go to your enemy. If you want to birth your child, you got to go to your enemy. You want to lay your, your parents to rest because they died of old age. You have to go to your enemy. Bring it out, you want girl. that nice car, you got to go to your enemy. Your enemy is like your father in this place. That's why you love him so much. That's why when he kills your children, you protest. But when brothers kill brothers, y'all don't, don't care. Y'all don't care. Just a few months ago, it was an incident of three teenagers pat taking turns shooting a little 14 year old girl. Get them in that. Who's tired of the injustices done in our community by the black man and the white man? Who's ready to move something? We got God's laws. We got the solution right here. We've been playing with this Bible for far too long. It's time to do what this Bible says to do. Right. We've never done what this Bible said to do. We danced and, and shucked and jive in the Christian church and act like we was. Let me tell you something about your pastor, too. Give me Jeremiah chapter 6, man. Yeah. From the least of them to the greatest of them. Because I'm going to show you the difference between us and your pastor. Your pastor, pastor played around two or three times every service. We don't have no plates out here. Each and every one of us, we work. We apply the scriptures. The scriptures say, if a man don't work, neither shall he, he shouldn't eat. Right. Your pastor needs to understand that. You got what I want? From the least of them even to the greatest of them. I think it's verse 13. Yeah. Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 13. This is for your Christian pastor, who you love so dearly. Read. For from the least of them, even unto the greatest of them, from the least of the pastors to the greatest of them, meaning your T.D. Jakes, your Creflo Dollar, your Yolanda Adams. Read. Everyone is given to covetousness. Every single one of them is given to covetousness. They try to make a dollar off you. They don't care about your condition. They don't even show you what's the difference between clean and unclean food. They don't show you the difference between profane and, and um, uh, uh, defiled. That's why I sit just walk up, up and down the street with pants on, not knowing that pants is a sin. Before 1950, the black woman never wore pants. She started wearing pants when she followed the white woman during the liberation movement. Our sisters was on our side fighting for injustice. Then the white woman got in her ear and said, no, you need to fight for women's justice. 
women's uh, injustice. So she said, okay, stop the fight and join the white woman who was a lesbian. You know? And from the prophet, even unto the priest, everyone dealeth falsely. See that? Your pastors are out here dealing falsely. That's right. They out here do, dealing falsely with God's laws. Give me Galatians chapter 3. So we out here to show you the difference, difference between us and the Christian church. We are not the Baptist church. We are not out here preaching a religion. We out here preaching God's laws that was given to you for a religion. That's right. We're not out here preaching a denomination, rather. We're not Baptist. We're not uh, apostolic. We're not none of these false man-made traditions created by man. You got what I want? Galatians chapter 3, verse 1. O foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you that you should not obey the truth? But so back then it was the Galatians. Today it's talking about the black and Hispanic man of today, which is the Israelite. Who has tricked you? Give me chapter 6, verse 1. Okay. Now, we didn't want to say that uh, I'm preaching another. Give me 2 Corinthians 10 now. So we out here to show you that your pastor is out here preaching another Jesus, man. Jesus Christ was never described in the Bible as a white man with straight, stringy hair. And you must understand that. That's why you hate yourself. That's why you hate yourself. Give me this one scripture and I'm going to pass it on to the next brother. 2 Corinthians 11, chapter, or chapter 11, verse 4. For if he that cometh preaches another Jesus, if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus. Who preached to you another Jesus? The so-called white man did. This ain't in the Bible. This ain't there. It's there, but it's not in the Bible. It's Jesus Christ. It's the image of the beast. Read on. Whom we have not preached. Because the apostles never preached the white man being Jesus Christ. That's right. That's why your minds is confused today. We have to get to the root of the problem to find the solution. That's right. In order to heal a sickness, we got to uh, diagnose what the sickness is. You hate yourself. That's the sickness. That's why it's so easy to pick a gun up and shoot one another. We don't. Or if you receive another spirit, because this image comes with another spirit. It makes our black man effeminate. Read. Which ye have not received, or another gospel, which you have not accepted. Because also this comes with another gospel. Christ ain't died for the whole world. He came and died for you because you are the one that need to be saved from your condition. Not the white man or other nations. Read. Ye might well bear with him. That's what we out here to do. We out here to bear with the wicked doers of our people. We tired of it and we gonna speak up about it. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.